Okay, you guys. In this video, I am going to be using this kind of wax paste to make some tapping and stretching sounds. But first, I'm just going to show you the box. It sounds so good and it's quite a pretty box so I wanted to spend some time on it before going to the wax or wax paste. The wax paste comes in like these aluminum kind of uh, packages and there are two that come in this box and you take uh, one of them and you drop it into a cup of hot water and then it will like soften the I'm just going to say wax from now on the wax so that it kind of becomes more pliable where you can bring it out of the little pouch and um yeah but I just I think this box is really pretty and I think it sounds so good so I wanted to show you what the wax came in first Maybe like two, three months back, I had found this product at a mall uh, nearby. I didn't know exactly what it was, but it said wax on the front, and um, like I actually got this like wax paste as like a, a package with another kind of wax last time, and that's how like. Long story short, we came across this really interesting item. It just makes some great sounds. So I've popped it in some water. It's warming up here. And you really have to do this first, otherwise it won't come out of the package. Uh, part of the great uh, quality of sound for this item is that it goes from kind of warm to cold very quickly and makes different sounds uh, as it gets cold and hot. Uh, I will show you what I mean by that. Okay, we get to just open it up first. I'm kind of pushing the paste down. So this is what it looks like. There we go. And I'll just kind of pop it up fairly quickly, otherwise this long piece will kind of get stuck everywhere. Okay. So, I've got like a tiny bit of oil on my hands so that it doesn't stick to my hands too much. So this was the first packet. Dumpling or something. So you hear like as it stretches out, it cools down, and you can like tap on it, and it's really unique way or sound. It makes a really So yeah, basically like three months back, this was kind of like a smaller portion of a larger video of this item I had purchased as like this pack of waxing products. I didn't know what the wax was going to look like on the inside, but I thought I could scratch it and do some things with it. Turned out both of the different kind of wax products inside were both pretty unique. I'd never um, played with or touched 
items with this, these exact textures. This one, like, as I pull it, it sort of resembles, like, a silly putty. And it even kind of pops like a silly putty. But it, it feels very different, actually. It does feel... <laughs> I think wax paste really is the correct word for it. So these are used for, like, waxing legs and such. Different parts of the body. And this one, I believe, is like for more sensitive areas. And ooh, it's like stretching so much. You can see how it hardened real quickly. It gets really pliable when it's warm in my hand. And then immediately when I stretch it, it almost um, firms up so I can actually tap on it. I find it really fascinating. Doesn't roll very well though. Gets stuck. It is like a little bit messy, but as long as you have some tiny bit of oil on your hands, it works. But don't put like any water or moisture um, on your hands or near the product because it changes consistency and it really gets sticky. Even putting like too much oil on your hands can add too much, um, it changes the consistency a bit and it, it makes it less uh, easy to, to play with and mess with. I love the sounds of the bubbles cracking inside. Did any of you guys play with like silly putty when you were small? Or maybe you play with it now? <laughs> but it just it reminds me of that a bit. But it also has this like quality of like what I would think like you know when you see taffy being called the candy called taffy it like has like a taffy feel to it also I do have the air conditioner on in the background if you can hear that it's been warm, but actually the more uh, important reason is because of outside sounds. It's helpful to kind of drown those noises out. The noises have been better lately, you guys. Like, I kid you not, I made a video a couple months back because the sounds were so loud during the day of filming. I'm just taking these off so they don't like stick too much as I'm going to like roll the wax on my hands now but I had made like a non ASMR video as I call them with just like playing around with you guys and sharing my little things that happened to me and one of them was just like the amount of like noises that were going on outside for quite a while at that point so I started like filming and showed you the sounds and like I kid you not they've been going on for so long and shortly after I made the video, like within a week, it stopped. <laughs> and I, I genuinely thought, these people care about me. They were praying for me. They were like, oh my gosh, she's trying to make videos with this. Like, I, it, it's been going on for a long time. I can't tell you. And then it, it's really like the construction, whatever they were doing, stopped. I haven't heard it. Like... Uh, probably, like I said, like a week after that video, it, it slowed down a lot, if if not completely stopped. I haven't heard it for so long now. Of course, we still have like dogs and people selling things and like all sorts of like fun street sounds, you know, that I have to kind of edit out sometimes. But, but that was like out of control. I literally couldn't film in the daytime ever, so it's like awake all night. like a little pancake. Ooh, pancakes. You 
you guys I had this amazing dessert the other day I can't even explain it I've never seen anything like it it was at this little I think it's considered a French restaurant but it's in it's in Egypt so like you know it's not super French but I think it's it's like called a French restaurant but they had this like okay it was, it was almost like a fried French toast that had Nutella in the center of it which to be honest wasn't my favorite part but I'm sure some people really dig that and then it had like ice cream on top so for me ice cream is like the main event but you guys it was like a square like a square like a cube a french toast I've never seen anything like it, it wasn't like the like it wasn't like the standard flat uh, square you know like a square piece of toast that's been made into French toast, not like that, like an actual cube. And it was like fried deliciously on the outside and it had the cinnamon sugar flavor and it like had a good fry on it. Like the inside was soft and then just ice cream on top, it was unbelievable. I'd never tasted anything like it. I think I have a picture of it, did I save that? Hmm. If I can find a picture of that, I'll, I'll put it on Patreon for you guys, because it was unbelievable. I took a picture, I just don't know if I saved the picture. Speaking of Patreon, I'm sorry that I've not gotten the second exclusive up for you guys yet. Usually your May exclusive, your second one would be up already. But I was sick this week, like my body was not great. So I apologize that that's not there yet, but I will get that to you guys. And if you don't know what Patreon is, there's like always a link in the description box for it. But it's just like a way to support the channel and I give you like little rewards and things back and share like behind the scenes videos and hopefully that recent behind the scenes video I shared finally went through I was having a problem with Patreon it, things, things have been a bit weird with Patreon in Egypt I've had to use like a I don't know the name of it like a server that's like outside of Egypt or something in order to upload there and once in a while it gives me a problem Hopefully that video that I tried to upload for you guys uh, went up properly the second time I tried it. Okay, so you guys know how I've been talking about starting the uh, Nail Olympics again. I've been getting excited about it for some time. I'm finally ready. I'm um, going to probably be putting those videos out soon, filming those videos soon, I mean. That will be long natural nails versus long fake nails. I think I'm just going to use the same categories that we used, that you guys voted on last time in the community tab. And I'm going to, I think, add in tracing because some of you were like really wishing that I had done tracing also. So Tappy, I believe, got first, like, the top votes of doing an quote-unquote event with tapping. For the uh, last time it was um, natural versus uh, fake nails. However, my natural nails were really short for the video because they were like, all my nails were I was kind of like working on the nail beds on a few of them that had gotten injured so I kept them quite small and then the fake nails were long so they had a bit of an advantage in a sense 
and so I wanted to make it more of an even playing field so we're going to do it again with long nails and both natural and fake but it took me a while to grow out my natural nails without breaking them that's always the the difficult thing but it helped having the fake nails on top of my natural for the last like like alternating weeks so that like they didn't have a chance to break as easily underneath the fake one so hopefully I'll be able to film a, a tapping competition scratching only competition uh, I think the other one was hand movements and camera tapping and then I will do tracing also for you guys this time and you'll get to vote on which one you think won the gold I made a snail apparently <laughs> but like this like a cinnamon roll talking version of this video uh, below as well. I was not great about that this week because of being sick but I did go back to all the videos last week and I tried to uh, post the uh, either no talking or talking version underneath its uh, partner if you will in the description box of its partner video. I'm really excited because um, some of you guys might know Danielle Elliott. She's a subscriber and like, uh, I guess, supporter of this channel so much. She's been with this channel for a long time and she just is one of the people that really consistently does timestamps and it really helps me out and she does it just out of the goodness of her heart, like she just does it. She's done it for so long and I never asked her, I don't know her personally, like she just has always done this. So um, I reached out to her recently and was like, I want to, I want you to tell me what kind of custom video you, you want, I'll do one for you and as a thank you from all of us for always doing timestamps. So I'm really excited to film her custom video. It'll be in the next few weeks. I'm, I will be uh, traveling to the US for a few weeks um, and I might film her video while I'm there because of some of the items or one of the items she wants in her video. So if there's anything that you guys have reached out to me for to like do custom videos and like I, I haven't been able to because of not having access to them in Egypt like Feel free to message me again and ask because I might have access to some things that I didn't before. It's like this Italian, um, I guess you could call it kind of like a donut uh, that my family called a pizzel. And uh, sometimes when I'm playing with this, it kind of looks like that. You take like bread dough and you let it rise and then you form it into 
need to like circular pieces like you kind of pull the, the dirt almost like this is kind of how you would work it if it was the pit cell and then you put it into fried bread dough I'm sorry, not fried bread dough. I think you put it in fry it. You fry it in oil. You put the bread dough in the oil. And, uh, and it's crazy good. And then we put out like different condiments to dip it in. Mm. As kids, we always had it with like sugar. We just dip it in sugar. And adults would like try to be healthy and put like, you know, peanut butter on theirs or something. It's still delicious, but like, and it added protein, which was smart. But yeah, the kids would just like have competitions of like who could eat the most of them. And they were like dipped in sugar. Crazy good. Ridiculously good. Anybody Italian who's ever had a pizza or called it that in their family? I'm so curious. That would be amazing. I've never met anyone else because I didn't. I didn't like know other Italians because I, I don't know. Only my family was Italian, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there were other Italians around me, but like, I, I don't know, my family, one side of my family is like, I guess, not super Italian, but pretty Italian, whereas like, I guess I know people like they have an Italian heritage, like some bits of Italian in them, but I don't know that any of the culture like came with their family, but and, and for me it is quite a small amount, but in this case we did have different foods and um, kind of Italian personality uh, very Italian just never, like none of my family members actually like spoke Italian like we had like great grandparents coming from Italy that just like kept Italian culture going um, and I didn't realize until I was a lot older that um, I thought my family like the personality of my family was just my family until I watched the cake boss show it's an Italian family where they like make cakes <laughs> and I was watching this show and I was like wait wait a minute this is just like my family my Italian family this was like not that long ago <laughs> and I realized oh my gosh my family really is Italian this is like a culture thing I've just never been around other Italians I thought it was just my family <laughs> It's the first time I realised how Italian my family was, was watching Cake Boss. Sort of embarrassing. Also funny. And you know what? Many of you know I'm in Egypt now and honestly, like, lots of similarities between the cultures. Italians and Egyptians have a lot of similarities. for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the sounds of this very unique product. I do have a few other videos with this product if you like to take a look. If you like the sounds and you want to hear more of them. ASMR Villa wax you could probably put that into the search box of YouTube and find it. There's a few of them. Okay you guys I hope you have a great uh, rest of your day or night. <laughs> this guy's kind of funny feeling. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day or night. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for everything. Bye for now.